panel today, what you're talking about is how you actually make comics, how artists produce comics, the techniques they use, the tricks they use, um, the, the difficulties, the successes. And to start with, I just thought I'd ask each one of you just to briefly um, introduce yourself, the, the things you've done, the things you're most proud of, and maybe just say a little bit about your personal style. Hopefully, some images which I randomly chose from the internet, so you might be horrified, of your work will be popping up above us, hopefully very soon. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll start with uh, Jamie. Would you? I am Jamie McCovey. Um, I currently do a book called The Wicked and the Divine for Image. Uh, I've also done a book called Phonogram for Image. Uh, worked on Young Avengers for Marvel, Defenders for Marvel, uh, X-Men Season 1 for Marvel, um, and I do a bunch of stuff, uh, illustration for bands and stuff as well outside of comics. That's what I do. Uh, I'm Sean Isaacs, and I've got uh, to but okay. not everybody gets drunk, so that's cool. Um, I've done work for Dynamite and Paizo's Pathfinder comic book based on the role-playing game, and we had a book called Stray, as well as lots of work for Mutant Masterminds, the role-playing game. Because I'm a nerd. Uh, hi, I'm Jess Masters. I currently drawing uh, James Bond with uh, Warren Ellis. Uh, before that, I did a bunch of work for DC, uh, Wildstorm, and Marvel. Yeah, got it. Hi, I'm Ian Church. That's really loud, isn't it? Hi, I'm Ian Churchill, and uh, I've been working in comics for about 25 years now, uh, drawing them mostly. And I've worked on uh, Deadpool, the X Men, Superman, Batman. Uh, Supergirl, uh, The Avengers, um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so that's that's pretty much me. Oh, Marine Man as well, obviously. <laughs> Very much Marine Man. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's what I do in a nutshell. Fantastic. Um, my next, my question that I want to ask you to start with about how you actually work, and I know that the answer from a couple of you, Sean, I've heard you talk about this before and I've read what Ian has said about this, but I think people don't realise just how much dedication and labour it takes to actually regularly produce a comic. So what I wanted to ask you is to describe your average working day or working week. Um, what actually goes into it? Um, yeah, I'll, again, I'll start with Jamie. Well, it depends on the deadlines. Yeah. Uh, but my average day would be um, probably 10 to 12 hours, maybe, of, of work. Um, depending on it. When we do the Wicked and Divine, uh, we tend to, it, the scripts tend to be a little bit longer than your average comic. So, uh, like the latest issue was 27 pages. Um, and you've got to produce that in a month. And it takes me about a day to draw a page. Um, sometimes longer, sometimes less, depending. Like if there's like, thousands of people in the crowd scene, that's going to take a couple of days. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, so I start, I usually start about 11 o'clock in the morning and finish hopefully by 9 in the evening, but sometimes later. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, I can't do a page a day. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's hectic, man. No, uh, also, I'm really slow, because like, uh, it depends on what I'm drawing. If I'm drawing superhero stuff, it's a bit shorter because it's a lot. I like the cleaner style of drawing superhero stuff. But if I'm drawing fantasy, then I kind of get lost in the details. So like an average day for me is like waking up at nine, starting at about ten, taking probably like two naps during the course of the day just to recharge. <laughs> so like one at about like two, another one at about six, and then I probably end work at like two, three in the morning, and then go to sleep. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much the day in the out, but I, I force myself to at least have like two nights off a week, at the very least, just to kind of do something else. Yeah, my, my schedule is more based on the fact that I have a family and I have to get my daughter to school, so I'm up at yeah, 6, 6.30, get, get kids to school, come back work, then fetch from school around 12, feed, carry on working until about 6, and I don't work from 6 to about 9, so just hang out and pretend I actually have a family and not him. And my wife's not a comic book widow. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, from nine, and if, depending on deadlines, it'll be nine for a few more hours, maybe to midnight, and, or if it's a deadline, then it's nine till three, and then start again at six in the morning. <laughs> but then many naps, yeah, otherwise, I die. Power naps. Naps are the best. As for me, um, when I'm working at Marvel or DC, they tend to prefer quite a detailed style from me, so it does take up a fair chunk of my day. I, I start around 9.30, I'll work through till probably about half past one, have 40 minutes for lunch, and then another couple of half hour breaks during the day, but I'll 
carry on probably till about three o'clock in the morning and then do the same again. Um, and that's normally seven days a week until the deadline's done. Uh, that's generally what I do. But then having said that, I've been uh, dabbling with digital just recently and that seems to speed me up slightly. So it's, it's been giving me more of a home life. So.